Hi guys, in this video I will be showing you 10 legit ways to make money as a teenager. So you don't necessarily have to be 18 to be able to make money with these methods. The first method is to edit videos for YouTubers. So you can edit videos for YouTubers, but of course this isn't something that you can learn in two days. It takes time to learn this skill. And there are thousands of YouTubers out there that hire people to edit their videos so they don't have to edit their own videos and they just go to shoot another video. And if you are good at what are you doing, then I believe you can make money with this. I mean, also if you are good at video editing, you don't necessarily have to edit videos for YouTubers. You can edit commercial videos for businesses or you can edit different stuff for small businesses. The second method is to wash windows. So you can just simply start washing windows of your neighbors while you are going to high school. But of course, be careful while doing this because you don't want to fall out of the ladder while you're doing this while washing windows, so just be careful. It is also easy to start. You just need a squeegee, a bucket, soap and you might need a ladder. Not every time, but sometimes you might do. After that, you can start washing windows for your neighbors and after a point maybe for businesses. The third method is to flip fonts. Basically, buying underpriced or broken fonts and selling them for profit. So you might find a font that is cheaper than it was because maybe the seller just wants to sell it or it has something broken. Then you can fix the screen or whatever is broken and sell the font for profit. I mean, you can sell it on Facebook Marketplace or on eBay. Of course, before buying any any phone you need to calculate how much you're gonna spend to fix that phone and see if it's profitable or not because it's not a good idea if you're gonna spend too much and lose money I mean just don't do it so you don't lose money so calculate before buying and see if it's profitable or not but I can say that there's money in that the fourth method is selling old items this one looks familiar to flipping phones in the third method but it's not the same. Basically, in these methods, you sell items that you don't use anymore. I'm sure that there are items in your home that you don't use. That can be a book that you've already read and finished. If they're in good shape, you can sell them for profit on Facebook Marketplace or on eBay. There are so many people that buy used items and if you're not using an item anymore, why not sell it? You can turn it into money and do something better with that money. The fifth method is digitizing photo albums. This one is a good one because it's sentimental. I mean, everybody cares about the old photos, the years you spent with your family together. Nobody wants to lose this. So you can digitize these photos so they don't lose them ever. I think a lot of people would be willing to pay for something like this. Also, you don't need that much to start doing this. All you need is a scanner. You scan the photos, they go to your computer, from your computer you can upload them into a cloud or you can upload them on a USB stick. If you're a teenager in this century, I assume you know these things. I mean, this is a pretty good one because like you don't have any age restriction or you don't need any skill to do this. All you gotta do is to buy a scanner and then let the scanner do the thing. The next method, the sixth method is print on demand. So make money by designing on a t-shirt, but don't worry, you don't necessarily need to know about graphic design or about drawing. I will show you how in a minute. Now, you can do this t-shirt print thing with the help of sites like Teespring, Redbubble or Zazzle. On Teespring and Zazzle, you just have to be older than 13 and on Redbubble, older than 16. Here, all you have to do is to add a design on a t-shirt and publish the design, publish that product. After that, every time that you will get a sale, you do absolutely nothing because those companies will print the product and send the product to the customer. That's the good part. So let's see how we can design without knowing about graphic design. I think most of you thought about fancy designs when I said design, which is quite natural, but that's not what I mean. The t-shirt you see on the screen now consists of only words and it gets sales. So all this person did was to click a few keys on the keyboard and make the design, which I believe this is something that anyone can do. You can use programs such as Photoshop, Canva or Adobe Spark if you're on mobile. Of course, you will not start making money immediately after you share the products because you need to promote yourself, you need to promote your products. Basically, you need to bring the customers together with your products. Then you can start making money. I already have a video on my channel that I try print on demand myself for 7 days, so if you want, you can check that video too. Affiliate marketing. So you can make money with affiliate marketing. Basically, you can make money by referring people. You join affiliate programs such as Amazon Associates and then you can get a special link for every product on Amazon. So you can share this link with friends or with another people and when they buy that product with your link, you get a commission. If you're wondering how you're gonna promote your links, the last method is quite powerful for this one. The eighth method is making money by recycling. Yes, you can make money by recycling cans or plastic. I mean, you can't make hundred dollars per day or something, but still, you can think of it as it's a small passive income. Like drinking water or drinking Coca-Cola, it's something that we all do. And why not recycle them? to get paid. Yeah, that can be a full-time job, even a part-time job, but as a side hustle, you can make some extra dollars 
Like, why not? I'm cool with that. The ninth method is reselling vintage clothing. Selling vintage items, especially vintage clothes, is cool because people are willing to pay way more than it is just because it's vintage. I'm not really sure why they do this. Maybe they don't know how to spend their money or they just like the old days. I don't know. So you can go to local thrift shops and find vintage clothes for a dollar for very cheap prices and then buy them and then sell them for profit because people are can pay $80, even $100 for such things. So it's an option for a lot of people. And the best way to do this is to sell them online on eBay or on Etsy. But of course, if you're a teenager, you will need the help of your parents to be able to create an account on Etsy or on eBay. And if you're saying that you can get the help of your parents, then you can sell them on Facebook Marketplace, on Letgo, on Craigslist locally. But be careful because when you're gonna sell them locally, you need to go meet with random people and give them the product, so just be careful. The last method is one of the most profitable ones, and that is being a YouTuber slash content creator. If you check YouTube, you will see that there are so many YouTubers out there, and some of them are even kids. This kid made 30 million dollars from YouTube. At that age, I was playing with my Legos, or with my friend here. I just wasn't recording myself. I wish I did. 30 million dollars. Well, as I said in the previous methods, with this method, with being a content creator, you can also do affiliate marketing to promote your links. Basically, you can just put your affiliate link in the description of your YouTube video, and when your viewers click that link and buy that product or service, you will get a commission. I mean, you don't have to think only about YouTube, you can also be an Instagram influencer or be a Twitch streamer. I mean, if you're a teenager, Probably not all of you, but most of you likes playing video games. Then why not to stream while playing? No? Well, it's up to you. If you just want to be a YouTuber, you can start with this video here. Because in this video here, I show you the most paid YouTube categories. So, see you over there. Bye bye.